I really wish I would have started doing this um, earlier in life because it would have saved me from a lot of a lot of surprises. Apparently today's the day today's the day that our balcony is from this point on or at least until they <clears throat> finish their their construction it's closed the uh, the construction company is supposed to be here today or tomorrow um, we're planning on today to wall up can you even see me Nashville's been really it's been really wet and nasty outside and that's that's why you were fogging up so I had to take you in because of that but anyway they're what they want to do is they want to take off this entire wall behind me um, and, and caulk and let me just get the letter Monday July 29th camp construction will cut caulking drywall install plastic coverings etc to living room and guest bedroom windows meaning that entire side of the house apparently they're only doing this side and then they're gonna do this side at a later date um, and it's supposed to last three to five weeks all that to be said as of Tuesday July so technically tomorrow Tuesday July 30th the side or the sliding glass door for the the balcony is officially closed until they're they're done if you have to I understand having to make necessary like changes updates um, to the building because buildings just get old and especially uh, in, in Nashville especially during like hurricanes or tornadoes or whatever um, things can get broken I, I understand that but they're like completely redoing the entire like outer wall of the apartment complex and again, okay, do whatever you have to do, but they're not even done. Before they get to this wall, they still have to do all of that way down there. Needless to say, they have a couple of couple of weeks, if not months, ahead of them before they get to our they get to our place. So my thing is like, well, why? How long is my stuff? How long is are we gonna live in a construction zone? Again, I can't I can't change any of this. Um, it's just a curveball spinning or having to really kind of now I don't want this video to sound like I'm just complaining about this whole thing because in the grand scheme of things it will figure it out and it'll be it'll be fine I'm um, just going through it right now it's a little it's a minor annoyance but w w with I didn't grow up in Nashville <clears throat> and I didn't grow up in the in Tennessee so I don't know if this is like normal stuff like there's been a couple of things that have popped up over the course of me and Savannah living here that Growing up in California, it's I'm learning that each state has different policies and different ways to approach things. And from what my experience was with California, there are things that Nashville does that you're not allowed to do in in California, whether that's like a law or that's just like not the cultural cultural norm, especially when it comes to living situations. It's been a real learning curve and a continuous learning curve. Um, and something I didn't know when I was moving out of out of state. So if you're thinking about moving out of state, maybe check the state that you're going to um, for like local laws that may pertain to you, like rent, living, construction. Like I don't know if this is just me. But one thing that I wish that I would have known when I moved to a different state, not just Tennessee, but like a couple other states before Tennessee, I wish I would have known to look up like local laws or local, um, just, just the, the, the norms of, of um, whatever that, whatever is in that state. Savannah and I did like ask a couple of times what the, what specifically we needed to like do, prepare for the, um, for them to do everything. And they didn't really give us any, they didn't tell us what to do. So I don't know if I need to like have like a foot for them to work. I don't know if I need to have like five feet for them to work. So all that being said, so yeah, I think we're just gonna wait and then like have them come in here and tell us what we need to actually, actually do. I do need to move this, this though, cause this technically doesn't go out here. It actually goes in our other room. Um, I just moved it out here just cause I wanted to play video games with it if I'm being completely honest with you. In our lease, there's this clause that basically says that they can like, they can come into our apartment when there's like necessary maintenance to be done. Um, and that's pretty much, pretty much it. So that could mean anything from like a toilet needing to be replaced or the entire like wall, outer wall system of an apartment complex um, being torn down and being replaced without giving like any explanation, which is, 
in hindsight, I kind of wish that we did look for that in the contract because then we could have like asked about it and negotiated. But um, I mean, who who's going to look for that in a, in a contract when you want an apartment complex? I didn't think in a million years that they would be tearing down walls and uh, putting new windows in for the entire complex on a building that's I think the building's like eight years old or something like that. All that being said, I'm trying to um, I'm trying to get this stuff out of here that way we just have to slide everything our entire workstation onto that wall when they inevitably come knocking and they could come today or tomorrow they said so we have like a 48 hour right this entire they're taking out this wall right here and this wall right here that's phase one and then phase two they're going to take out that wall right there and then that wall right there so, like I said, they're doing phase one. That'll take five weeks. They're going to do phase two. That'll take five weeks. So, all in all, it'll be like ten weeks of this. I wish I could tell me what I needed to, like, how much room I would need to move. Because that, that's the one thing. I, I, you could be half the room or it could be, like, a foot. I literally, there's no context. And they didn't give us any explanation. So... You see that right there? That's um, some scaffolding they put up a couple of days ago. I have no idea what they're going to be using that for, um, but that's like right below, right below our house. I think I think for me in this this whole situation that we're going through with all the construction and everything, I think the biggest lesson that I have learned is to just when whenever whatever you're doing in life, if you if there's contracts involved, which I think most businesses deals should probably have some kind of contract, even if they're friends, because it just gives everybody expectations, clear expectations on what what's going on. But I think whenever you're in the middle of signing a contract or doing anything, to read it thoroughly and try to, if you can, have somebody else look at it for you because they can give you a lot of context and they can give you like a, a third party's opinion because um, it's really hard when you're in the middle of in the middle of it and on top of that if you really really want the, the place like we really really wanted to live where we live we really like and still do really like the apartment complex um, but hindsight I wish we would have done our due diligence to read the stuff just a little bit more um, just to be aware of some of the things that may pop up that way um, there's like no no surprises and they may just be like norms like i said in the beginning of this video they, they may just be norms that um are just common practice from where you live if you're change, like changing regions of the united states or going to a different country or whatever um it's a good idea to figure that stuff out ahead of time and um yeah that's that's one thing i've learned with traveling too is knowing to, to just to do research ahead of time for that kind of stuff i guess that's what you can pull from this video um they didn't come into our apartment they're coming tomorrow so I, I did originally if i'm being candid with you i did originally plan on them being in the apartment but that clearly didn't work out so i actually did get new running shoes though um, my running shoes kind of fell apart on me during my run today and they're only like they're like brand new so i went the last couple of hours it's eight o'clock now last couple of hours we spent um looking for running shoes which honestly i'm not a fan of i'd rather just use my original ones but i found some new ones that might work mm -hmm.